Welcome to this game playing Papua 29. Yep, one of the frequent opponents have a great score against him. He's very high rated here. Let me check. Is this one of his best? No, he went to 2 5. Carlos Alvarado Rodriguez. That doesn't sound very Polish. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Okay, again the goes, and this is really a line that Check. is totally in fashion. People really tend to play what the top guys play. It's it's just like that. Maybe there's some logic to it. They normally play good lines. Hmm. I had this right. I had this just very briefly, a very uh, short time ago. Is there knight takes b4? A uh, knight takes d4 here if I castle? Queen b4, right? <laughs> Looks funky. I don't see a trick here. You can take c3, play knight e5, or this kind of business. I can take with a pawn, sorry. And it's not even that favorable anyway. I probably have to move the queen at, at some point anyway. Oh, queen e6, that looks kind of strange. Wow. Okay. Hmm, queen b3 maybe. Just attack d5. Knight e7 blunders the bishop. So he probably has to take it, yeah, and that's really not what you want. Hmm, okay. Pawn takes or queen takes. After queen takes, his pieces look kind of misplaced for b4, b5. Not sure, b takes was possible. Knight a5 then. There's a funny piece placement. Queen d e6 and bishop on d7. But of course, this is a very solid position. He can play, let's say, rook c8, yep, knight e7, this kind of thing is possible. The good thing for white is it plays itself very easily. You can play this very easily. You don't have to spend much time there for, com for, for complex uh, considerations. It's just fairly straightforward queenside play. Haha, -ha. okay, so I can go b6 here, or I can take. It's both interesting. Okay, let's take. Hmm. hmm. Six. Maybe I can just take this thing for knight e5. I wonder knight e5 f6. Am I going to take on c6? It's not that bad. looks weird to take the bishop, but but it's still a good structure. I can go e4 here, but it doesn't really help probably. Maybe this move, <clears throat> setting up a pin. Wow, what? You're not losing this pawn on b4, that's hard to believe. Let's see. <clears throat> that looks like a very lonesome warrior there on b4. Ready to be picked up. Plus there's a6 as a possible threat now. Rook b1, yes. No. 
Okay, so if I take b4, rook a8, I have a6, yes? There is no back rank stuff going on, right? No. a6. No, I could have taken, maybe I should have taken c6. If he goes back with the bishop now. Yeah, okay. It it will it will be it will still be good. Okay, take and rook b six. Okay, so this is kind of nice, yeah. We've got total control here. Make sure not getting getting mated. He's maybe going all the way to c7. Can try to enter with the king, or probably maybe it's all very nicely nicely organized. I can trade one rook maybe with rook b8. And go from there. using the king here for some activity. Mm, rook b7 maybe, knight, knight c7 is maybe coming. Okay, let's put it here, it's also not bad. <clears throat> and now going to advance. I really try to. Check. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. It's not a change Check. that is worrying me too much. The H pawn is is a good a good um, target. Or possibly F three E four. But how how do I actually win? Not it's not that easy. A seven. Yeah, probably. A seven rook b eight. Time for something something decisive. Time warning. Switching attention to the king side where there's the second weakness on h6. This is why g5 was a move that I didn't mind so much. I needed something else to attack here. You now bishop f5 is a very inconvenient threat. Don't really see what he does about that. King on the seventh is rook h7. That's actually deadly. Uh, that's it. He has no move. Bishop f5 is, is winning. Next next move. No, out, 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 over and out. It's an eternal pin. He has absolutely. He can. He doesn't have a move. It's Zugzwang. Almost. Black resigns. Okay. Yeah, it was a nice game. I really like that. Having control for most of it, I think. Okay. So he went with this strange move. Takes, takes. And here I'm, I'm just a little bit better. Long term. Oops. That was the wrong button. It's just a matter of um, yeah, how he sets up against the, the queen side um, aggression. Yeah, a5, I don't know, I probably would have taken getting stuff traded. The a pawn is it's more of a liability, but yeah, it's, it's very difficult to decide. I decided to take. Yeah, and here it's just it's just that those pawns are weaker than than my 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 pawns. Okay, I just 
I will take on g6, knight e5 and at some point maybe. He was afraid of that, but now I'm centralizing. Yeah, and I think this is a mistake. This pawn is going to be going to be very weak. Okay, the computer is not agreeing. It gives bishop e8 as equal. I'm kind of shocked. Why is this equal? He's just about ah rook c3 because of f6 some some kind of weird tactic rook c3 yeah, that's strong that's a strong strong move this is now a bit awkward hmm. I probably have to move the bishop and then this f6 or rook a3 f6 one one big point is that he all of a sudden gets gets this bishop out hmm that's that's really really remarkable i was really thinking that this should should just be good the comp is giving this one just trading a for b pawn which is yeah okay that is good for white because those pawns are weak but i was thinking a5 is just convenient yeah keeping the pawn and and getting it before but yeah this 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 was a great resource bishop e8 yeah that's a move hmm, yeah okay certainly can be found by a human player but hmm, in with little time i know the comp actually gives me an edge anyway because of this this is a bit more precise and now this idea 0 0.4 hmm. yeah but that would have been much much better and th this is just winning i guess it looks very very nice yeah now i can go here first or take c6 you know that, that's a very nice end game g4 is a good move i think fixing all this here on dark squares giving me invasion squares for the king and here I had the idea to trade one pair of rooks. You can debate about that. Not sure. Those two rooks look very passive, but I want to use my king actively, and very often you want to trade one pair of rooks before you do that. I think I'm keeping an advantage here. Rook b6. King up. Check. Check. And now I have a second weakness on h6. He went here and now okay you can play probably also different moves but this is a very clean solution i believe we win this pawn and in this com particular position um he's in a in a deadly pin so that was a good technical game despite this one moment where he could have defended i don't mind that very much it's it's difficult to see here bishop e8 especially uh, this come on with this f6 bishop g6 idea yeah, as mentioned, with some time on your hands, okay, but in a blitz game, okay. I don't mind if I overlook this kind of resource. Yeah, okay, thanks for watching.